Hey everyone, it's Ben here with you guys again today. We're going to go over Asphilia africana. So the plant Asphilia africana. Let's just go over a basic overview of the plants. Here we can see the flower. Bright, nice yellow flower. The leaves goes down. There is an overview of the plant. It's about a foot foot tall. You can see the leaves are opposite. Here's the back side of one of the leaves. Now the stem, then the leaves are rough to the touch. You can see the little, I wouldn't call them bristles, but they're rough to the touch. And definitely going against the grain, it's quite rough. And so yeah. Uh, just going over the medical properties first. So this uh, Asphelia africana is extremely good for healing wounds. And a lot of research has been done on the plants for healing wounds. Especially the liquid taken from the flowers. It is put directly on wounds. Either as a poultice or the liquid taken out of the leaves. You can use it for sepsis, sepsis, sorry, and then also use it for any microbe-induced disease. So it, the leaves are very anti-inflammatory, also, also antimicrobial and antioxidant properties. So the leaves are definitely very useful, extremely useful plants just from the leaves alone. And they say uh, drinking the leaf infusion can also be effective against ulcers and then be effective against rheumatism. So leaves are very useful. A lot of healing properties uh, either by squeezing the leaves together and applying the juice directly onto a wound. Applying it onto an infect infected wound is also useful. And then either any part of your body that is inflamed, it can be useful at uh, reducing that inflammation, fighting those microbes and then providing uh, antioxidant work within the body. One caution of the plants, is uh, that long-term oral consumption should be avoided. Uh, they have seen effects on the reproductive system, especially long-term use of the uh, oral consumption of plants. But uh, for treating ulcers temporarily, for treating rheumatism, you can definitely make a tea out of the leaves and then drink that probably, um, I would say twice a day. So yeah, that's uh, Asphilia africana. Overview of the plants. Very useful plants. And uh, I'll see you next time. All the links to the medical journals will be in the link below. And see you for another review of some more plants.